Welcome back, Flare community. I am absolutely delighted to announce the launch of Songbird, which is a brand new canary network for Flare, plus a new token to be airdropped for those who have already claimed the Spark token. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is a canary network? Well, a canary network is an operational blockchain with a defined token supply that is intended to be used to test features for a related mainnet, the Flare network. On a canary network, users have a balance that cannot just be replenished at will. This is in contrast to a test net, which generally has an unlimited token supply available in increments to any user through a faucet. Polkadot is the originator of the Canary Network concept with their Kusama Network. So what is the purpose of Songbird? Songbird is the Canary Network for Fleur, and it will have two distinct phases. Prior to the launch of Fleur, Songbird will be instrumental in the continued testing of the Flare Time Series Oracle, the State Connector, and the F Asset systems, and the network architecture as a whole. The Flare Time Series Oracle and F Asset protocols will be live on Songbird with F assets generated from the underlying tokens where applicable. Very similar to how this will work on the Flare network. This will improve security, stability, and the credibility for the ultimate launch of Flare. Now, post Flare launch, Songbird is intended to be a long term network for testing governance led changes to the Flare network, such as the incorporation of new F assets, changes to the FTSO, F asset systems, or any other network change. So Songbird will have two other core uses. First, advanced testing and community building for applications that wish to eventually launch on Flare. Ideally, all applications that launch on Flare, especially those that utilize the Flare Time Series Oracle and F Asset Systems, will test initially on Songbird. Second, as a way for Spark token holders to familiarize themselves with key Flare protocols, such as delegation for the FTSO, minting of F assets, and usage of applications that build on Flare without putting their Spark tokens at risk. Flare will launch with all the tested core protocols, the Flare Time Series Oracle, the initial F assets, and state connector. The use of Songbird as a testbed for potential updates to Flare means that between Flare and Songbird, Songbird will often be the more advanced network. Innovations and new decentralized application launches will first happen on Songbird and then they may be rolled out onto Flare after testing. Now, this makes Songbird its own type of network, which may be useful by itself to applications that do not need the intended stability of Flare, but wish to enjoy the state connector, FTSO, and core Flare protocols, and potentially more advanced features that Songbird can offer ahead of Flare. This might generally appeal to lower value applications, whereas Flare might appeal to applications handling greater amounts of value. So now I want to talk you through the Songbird token. Songbird, the canary network for Flare, will have its own token. It's called Songbird, and the ticker symbol is SGB. This will be distributed once and in the same ratio to all the same recipients of the Spark distribution. The total starting supply will be 15 billion, with the initial inflation rate of 10% per year throughout the FTSO and validator reward systems. Now, this means that for every one XRP that was held at the time of the snapshot, 
which was the 12th of the 12th, 2020, you will receive 0.1511 Songbird. Now, in contrast to the Flare network, there will be no predefined minting reward pool. Instead, that supply will remain with the Flare Foundation. If you claimed Spark through self-custody via a wallet which you already own, such as a ledger device, you will use the same Ethereum style address, but with a different chain ID to access Songbird. If you participated in the Flare Finance beta competition, you should be familiar with adding your own networks. I will certainly do a tutorial closer to the time for those who may not have already done that. Now, if you claimed your Spark through an exchange, they will receive the Songbird token on your behalf. You will need to ask them to distribute it to you. So let's talk about governance. Similar to Fleur, the Songbird token can be used to perform a governance role. Unlike Fleur, this would not be over the implementation of changes to Songbird itself, as Songbird is suborientated for Fleur for that purpose. Governance could, however, be useful in adding additional chains, prices, and F assets that haven't been suggested by Flare governance to the Songbird state connector, FTSO, and F asset protocols, respectively. So now let's talk about the launch order. Songbird will launch first as a pure Ethereum virtual machine smart contracts network. This will enable testing of the network architecture and for the initiation of testing of third-party decentralized applications. And subsequently, the Flare Time Series Oracle, State Connector, and F Asset Systems will be enabled. Now, let's talk about the launch of the Flare network itself. Flare will launch after substantial testing of all systems on Songbird with the current final security audit scheduled to finish at the end of September. Now here's something to consider regarding the Songbird Canary network. Songbird should not be considered a production ready network. It is for testing the integrity of the proposed production network, FLIR, the proposed governance updates over time, the Flare core protocols and dApps which are launching on Flare. The Flare team makes no promise to continue support or development of Songbird in the future. The team at Flare, and likely the various teams testing their decentralized applications on Songbird, will actively be trying to find and exploit bugs and other issues and breaking the network itself. Please, therefore, be aware that Songbird comes with a potential for loss of liveliness, token loss, and risk that is potentially greater than the main net deployments. Measure twice, cut once. So, what's my take on this? Well, I'm actually very excited for the Songbird Canary Network to launch. It basically brings a network which is as close to the real thing as possible and allows users to really get to grips with the network. There's a lot of complicated features of the Flare network such as minting F assets and delegating your vote and this provides the perfect opportunity to learn it before the Flare network goes live. In addition, developers will be able to find certain exploits and fix them ahead of time, meaning the Flare network will be a much more stable network once it does launch. The launch of a network is particularly important, and as we know, governance changes will take time. The idea is to iron out the kinks with this canary network, and then once the network has been tested substantially, the Flare Network can continue to launch in a very stable and promising way. And this is also something that is important to consider. The Flare Finance team may have been waiting for this very news. Now, I imagine they are also aware of this ahead of time. And I believe that the Flare Finance applications 
will actually begin life on Songbird. And what better opportunity to start the Flare Finance Beta program? So that's definitely something to keep your eye on. And it's definitely something I will be watching closely. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We have a new Canary network called Songbird. We have the new Songbird token, which is distributed to all those who are receiving the Spark token. And we have something new to look forward to. And that is the Flare Finance Beta Competition, which will inevitably launch soon. I will certainly be keeping you up to date as news becomes available. So with that being said, have yourselves a great day as always. And until next time, I'm out. Mission control, we have liftoff.